In the last hour, we've learned that nearly a dozen Little Rock shootings in the last 24 hours could all be connected. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sarah Horbakowitz. Police say they have suspects in custody and that there is no threat to the public right now. Of course, this is a developing story with a lot of information. So THV 11's Ashley Godwin has been following this all night and joins us live at the Little Rock Police Headquarters. Ashley, what do we know right now? All right, thank you, Ashley. I know you'll stay on top of this. When can we expect to know more? I know there's a lot coming out right now. That's right. Police tell us that there should be more information released tomorrow. They are in the interview process, interviewing those suspects as we speak. So we will keep you updated as we learn more tomorrow. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Ashley. Now, Little Rock police are also investigating an overnight hit and run on South University. LRPD says that just after 1 a.m., they were told a car hit a person walking near the Arkansas Workforce Center. When officers arrived, they found 41 year old Jamal Lewis of Little Rock. Medical first responders also came to the scene and confirmed that Lewis had died from his injuries. Authorities believe that Lewis was hit as he attempted to cross the northbound lane. We will continue to update you on all of these investigations as we learn more. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight for THV 11 at 530. I'm Sarah Rabakowitz. We have a full desk tonight. I'm here with both Corrales Ortiz and Sierra Clark because it might be Super Bowl Sunday, but we have a lot going on right here at THV 11. <laughs> Sierra, what sports do we have going on today? Tomorrow is the last day of early voting in North Little Rock for the proposed public library system millage increase. Currently, the library is assessed at three mills on property taxes, but they are asking voters to approve an increase to five mills. The millage would provide $2 million in funding that the library says will go towards building improvements. The last day to vote is Election Day, and that's on Tuesday. Also on Tuesday, love might not cost a thing, but it's not cheap either. Anyone looking to secure flowers or treats for Valentine's Day knows what I'm talking about. And while inflation still impacts small businesses, as THV 11's Brooke Buckner found, it's not stopping sweetheart shoppers this year. Now the 2023 tax filing season is underway. The IRS says taxpayers can expect a smoother season this year due to more workers provided to the IRS by the Inflation Reduction Act. And this tax season, the Verify team is answering all of your questions. This morning, our Casey Decker explains whether Social Security checks count towards your taxable income. This might not be for everyone, but for some people, today was actually the perfect weather for a lake plunge. Adventurers all came out to Hurricane Lake Estates to take a plunge, all for a good cause. For $50, families and supporters of Special Olympics Arkansas held hands and dove right in. When you go in the water, yeah, it's cold, but when you come out, it's kind of, your, your body uh, plays tricks on you. you. You actually think you're warmer than you are. So I think it's like hypothermia is what they call that. And uh, <laughs> so uh, it, you, you come out and you get changed and it, you know you've done a good thing for the day. If you missed out on the fun today, don't worry. Organizers tell us there are 20 polar plunge chances in Arkansas between now and March. So anyone can sign up to support Arkansas Special Olympics. Overnight, people across the country poured into the streets in protest. This after portions of the video of the beating that claimed the life of Tyree Nichols was released. Nichols was killed after a traffic stop. He was 29 years old. When we have a lot to break down for you this morning, but first, we want you to have the choice whether to watch something disturbing. We'll show only parts of the video here on the air, but the full video is available on THV11.com. But again, we know that these images are very graphic and the language is very explicit. We're going to start with this clip from the third out of four videos released. This is from an elevated camera and shows the officers surrounding Nichols. One raises a baton. We didn't show the part where he strikes Nichols three times. And just before this clip, a different officer kicks him in the head twice. Soon they will punch him in the face, then punch him three more times. Nichols then collapses. 10 minutes later, the fire department arrives with medical equipment, but they do not provide any first aid. He won't get medical attention until 20 minutes after the collapse. 
The five former officers you see here have been fired from the Memphis Police Department and are facing multiple charges, including second degree murder. They also face charges of aggravated assault and aggravated kidnapping. Since the video's release, the sheriff of Shelby County has put two of his deputies under investigation and taken them off the streets. They were seen in that video, and he says he wants to determine whether they followed the rules. The Memphis Fire Department is also conducting an internal investigation. Meanwhile, Memphis and big cities across America have become a hotspot for demonstrations. So far, most have been peaceful, which is exactly what the Nichols family has been asking for. They said Tyree would have wanted them to be nonviolent. This video is from Memphis, where hundreds of protesters held a demonstration. Interstate 55 was shut down, going in and out of Tennessee after protesters took to the roadway. From coast to coast, there were more peaceful demonstrations. However, there were brief incidents between police and protesters in New York and Los Angeles. In Times Square, the windshield of a police car was smashed. This coverage is far from over and there will be much more to talk about over the weekend and heading towards the funeral of Tyree Nichols this coming Wednesday. We'll begin tonight with breaking news. Arkansas State Police are confirming that multiple people are hurt after a shooting in Dumas. THV 11's Ian Russell is live with us. He's at Dumas right now with the latest and what do you know so far? 700 million up for grabs tonight, folks. So good luck. Looks like I'm not going anywhere. I didn't win. No, I did not. I either. completely forgot. I didn't. You know, I, I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't buy, I mean, I guess they say if you don't buy a ticket, you can't win, but I feel like I've lost the last few. I mean, I feel like I win by saving money. <laughs> well, I buy a ticket every time and I'm not winning, so I don't understand what's happening. Here. But, I mean, someone's got to. Maybe <laughs> someone watching one yeah. tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you just won the lottery by watching THV 11. There right? we go. <laughs> Thanks so much for staying up late with us tonight. Have a great evening.